Hey, are you looking for something cool? Something a bit fresh? Something, most importantly, that isn't a sequel? Well, we've got you covered with some cool, exciting, upcoming RPGs that are brand new things, you know, brand new IP or intellectual property. So please note, we're not counting sequels or uh, Final Fantasy or anything like that, or even Starfield, because face it, that one's been talked about to death. Let's highlight some weird new stuff and get started off with number 10. Lost Soul Aside is actually not super new. We originally saw this game in 2016. We talked about it in a bunch of videos and it blew us away because it looked like a crazy AAA action RPG that was made by one dude. Well, the game caught the eye specifically of Sony Interactive Entertainment. And when they got interested, the project became much more complex. More developers were brought on and the game was slated for PC, PS4 and PS5 in 2020. Since then, it's gotten delayed. The developers have only done slight interviews here and there, but we have seen a lot of cool gameplay and it is very flashy, visually astounding, and really unlike anything we've seen before. Honestly, if anything, it just looks like an over the top anime or Final Fantasy cutscene, like a pre-rendered thing, but it's the actual game. Of course, we actually have to see it or, or play it to believe it, but we've kept our fingers crossed for this one for quite some time now. Next over at number nine, shifting gears, we have a game called Merciful Flames. This is actually a detective adventure RPG. And although it doesn't have a release date yet, this PC indie game just seems really cool just by the basic pitch. You play as an inquisitor in the dark ages and it's up to you to solve some gruesome mysteries. The game's detective adventure RPG elements are actually inspired by dark horror board games. So it's all about doing whatever it takes to achieve your goals and conversations with people, interrogations, you really have to choose Choose if you want to be sly, brutal, mean, and even torture people to get the right answers. This game seems to be focused a lot around interrogation and even developing and coming up with your own torture devices to get answers. According to the developers, you're actually going to grow your skills through the power of God. And the game is going to deal with the occult, religion, and just how gruesome and sketchy life was back then. Uh, this one just really caught our eye because it seems really inspired by, like we mentioned, tabletop adventure games, but also just old school PC games. It seems really, really cool, so keep an eye on it. Next over at number eight, we have Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn. This game revealed during the Xbox Bethesda Summer Game Fest event thing uh, is set amidst a world ruled by the old gods. And it looks to be an action packed combo of magic and gunplay and ax wielding and RPG elements that we like. This is actually from the developers behind Ashen, a game that we really enjoyed, but it seems like Flintlock is going bigger and crazier and a bit more AAA. We've seen what looks to be a pretty wide open world, a bunch of different skills, cool animal and enemy types. And honestly, more than anything, I kind of just want to see what else is going on with this world. Like what's really the story here? Because I mean, magic, guns, swords, it's a good combo, but hopefully it has some cool lore to back it up and really make it worthy of being an RPG. From what we know, we'll probably find out when we get to check out this game, if it releases, as they say, early 2023. Next over at number seven, we have Showa, American Story. Now, this is a weird, quirky, seemingly small studio game centered around classic 80s pop culture. And it seemingly has a pretty wild story and setting where America has been overtaken by Japan. And, you know, it's really just a big change to how everything goes down. In it, the players take the role of a young woman named Choco, who has apparently risen from the dead. And you'll have to make a journey across this new, weird, strange, futuristic America in search of answers about what happened to you and the events that have just drastically changed and messed up this world. From what we've seen, it looks like players can expect a fast paced action RPG where you're gonna tear through tons of enemies uh, with melee, ranged weapons, and possibly some vehicle action too. It just seems like an all over the place, wild and strange game. So that's why we're keeping an eye on it, to be honest. Next over at number six, we have Pixel Noir, a PC game that's currently in early access. And it's been in the works for a few years now and it seems really promising. Number one, because it seems inspired by some pretty cool old school detective games. It kind of reminds us of Snatcher a little bit with some of the vibes, uh, but this is essentially a hardcore role-playing detective game where you roam the streets as a mysterious detective plagued with hallucinations, trying to solve mysteries. You talk to people, you make decisions. You even go to court and just basically 
run your private eye business, but you're also engaging in cool classic RPG style turn-based combat. You have gear, which you can modify and upgrade through RPG systems as well as allies on your team that you can also upgrade. It seems really promising. The early access Steam reviews are generally positive and between the RPG elements and just the overall vibe and art style, it just seems really sweet. Next over at number five, we have Arise of Awakener. I mean, this thing just looks absolutely wild. Look at it. If anything, it's really giving me Dragon's Dogma vibes, which is definitely a good thing. And it's a similar setup. It's essentially a Japanese game developer's take on medieval European fantasy. So it's gonna be super over the top and hopefully as fun and crazy as it looks here. Uh, we've seen a couple of different character build types, good old RPG style, knights with brutal heavy attacks, uh, faster enemies with smaller weapons, and even some magic wielding enemies, which could really change things up. This is going to have plenty of loot. It's apparently going to take place in a fully open world where you can ride around on dragons or other mounts and go on a path of revenge and redemption to become Become this, you know, magical awakened one. Obviously, we need to know a lot more about this game. We're still currently really only looking at stuff that is slated as early development footage, but if they can pull it off, it could be pretty sweet. We're hoping we see more from this game in 2023. Next over at number four, we have another stylish action RPG, this time Project Eve. Now, you probably remember seeing this one revealed at a PlayStation live stream event, and it was downright stunning. The main character engaged in combat with big sci-fi weird enemies in fast-paced, brutal combat. The whole thing kind of gave us like futuristic Bayonetta vibes, and I think that's a good thing. There's a lot of emphasis on parrying and evading and being super fast, but you're also going to be able to gain skills and level up to take advantage of more powerful armor, AOE attacks, sweep attacks, interrupt combos and cool stuff like that. And really the other thing about this game is just the graphics. I mean, look at it. It's an absolute stunner from the character designs to the environments. It kind of just screams like ray tracing and particle effects the video game. Graphics don't always make a game, of course, it's all about the gameplay, but sometimes it's fun to look at pretty stuff and it seems like Project Eve is gonna have that, but with some action RPG combat stuff to back it up. As of right now, we know we're gonna see it on PlayStation consoles in probably late 2022 or early 2023. Now, next up at number three, we have Forspoken. This is probably one of the games on this list that we know the most about because it's releasing fairly soon. After a bunch of delays, as of right now, the current release date is January 24th, 2023. And the reason why this game has been on our radar is really because of the concept. It's like a collaboration between Eastern and Western devs. So you're gonna see some North American and European influence as well as some Japanese influence from all the people involved. This is an open world action adventure RPG with really cool traversal. I mean, one of the first things we saw about this game when it was codenamed Project Athea was the fact that the player can navigate this open world super fast and brisk like some sort of weird magical parkour Doctor Strange. And that really goes with the combat as well. From what we've seen, it's all magic focused and it's all about upgrading and fine tuning your character to cater to your play styles. It looks like she's going to have a ton of different attacks. And we're just really curious to see how this one comes together. We're still a little skeptical because some of the combat doesn't look as interesting as we thought and we still don't know the main hook totally, uh, but some of the presentation elements and the open world itself has us really intrigued. We're looking forward to getting our hands on this one. Of course, we're going to make a before you buy video breaking it down so you know what's what. And like I said, as of right now, it's releasing January 24th, 2023. Now down to number two, we have Lies of P. Oh man, this one has been absolutely top of mind since it was first revealed. This is essentially like a Dark Souls inspired, more Bloodborne style game where you play as Pinocchio. It's like a dark and gritty Pinocchio Souls-like game. I think that's the only type of pitch you need. We've seen the character fighting against really cool kind of marionette-esque enemies in a gothic horror world, and we really, really want more of this. As much as people might be starting to get sick of Souls-like games, we're not, and especially when it comes with some cool gothic horror presentation like this. I mean, hey, if we're not going to get Bloodborne 2, I'll take the next best thing, and Lies of P so far seems like it's shaking up to be something like that. As of right now, we don't know when it's coming out. It's probably going to be a while, but we're really hoping 2023 is the year because it looks sweet.
Now down to number one, speaking of another Souls-like inspired game, it's Black Myth Wukong. This action adventure RPG is based around Chinese mythology, and that leads to a lot of unique things that we haven't seen in tons of games before, especially in this genre. Just crazy enemy types, a seemingly gorgeous, mysterious, fantasy world, and hopefully lots of cool combat. The main character seems super capable, and all of the gameplay clips we've seen so far have been really, really impressive. I mean, props to developers for just showing us straight up gameplay and not just flashy cutscene trailers. We've actually been able to see how some of this game works, and like, while we still have questions about how the world and the loop and the upgrading and skills work, basic moment-to-moment -moment combat and dodging and parrying and attacking seems really, really awesome and tangible and fun. This is an Unreal Engine 5 game and it looks really really gorgeous and it seems like it's going to drop on all the major consoles sometime in 2023. But those are just some cool, unique RPG and action RPG games that we wanted to talk about today. We had fun yapping about these ones, so we wanna hear from you guys in the comments what you're looking forward to. What do you want from a new RPG that isn't a sequel to anything? Is it something like one of these games? Definitely hit us with your own top five if you got one. But if you enjoyed this video and maybe learned about a new game, that's all we're trying to do here, mission accomplished. So if you like that, click the like button, it helps us out. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.